Hey guys, welcome back to the Bro Italian YouTube channel. On today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the new tilt rotor system that will be replacing the UH-60 Blackhawk. What I think about it uh, and what maybe it means for the future. That and more. If you like and wanna to subscribe to our content, be sure to subscribe, uh, smash that subscribe button and feel free to share your feedback down in the comments. I'm sure there are a lot of smart people out there who are way more knowledgeable about this than myself, but we're here. Check it out. So today, Monday, December 5th, 2023, the U.S. Army finally awarded the contract for the next generation helicopter to Textron's Bell. So this ends a year long competition for the technology that will eventually replace the Blackhawk, uh, which of course here at Battalion we hold near and dear, all innately being UH-60 pilots. Now for years, the Army has had what has been known as the Future Vertical Lift program and competition, which was really all aimed at finding a replacement as they really look to retire more than 2000 medium class UH-60 Blackhawk utility helicopters, all of which built by Sikorsky since the 1970s. So the parameters that they were looking for during this competition was the ability to move about 12-ish troops, 400 nautical miles. This comes with a shift not only from a coin or counterinsurgency type of operation and focus over to this near peer or peer to peer type of focus, which really brings into idea the ability to transport troops a long distance at a very fast pace. Now, obviously in the aviation community on the army side, especially for Black Hawk pilots, we see the idea of a tilt rotor and kind of, kind of squint our eyes a little bit and maybe a lot of people turn up their nose specifically because of the history of the V-22 Osprey. So during its testing from 1991 to 2006, there were four crashes resulting in 30 fatalities with the V-22 Osprey. Since becoming operational in 2007, the V-22 has had eight crashes, including two in a combat zone and several other incidents that resulted in a total of 16 fatalities. So are these two the same? Is the V-22 that similar to the Valor? And what is the difference in the testing process going to look like? The first thing that everybody needs to understand is that the contract that was awarded today is for a virtual prototype and not an actual aircraft. An initial prototype could come in 2025, but the Army would need to award additional contracts before that happens, according to officials. Now, while the Army touted that it awarded the contract almost four years earlier than what it had anticipated, Bell and Sikorsky Boeing competed over the last almost nine years with their two prototypes through a series of rigorous tests to allow the Army to make its decision. At this time, the Army has not given any specific reasons why they chose the Bell over the Sikorsky Boeing other than it was the best value. So that brings us to two things. As stated earlier, is it similar to the V-22 Osprey in the aspect that is a tilt rotor? Sure, but the way that the engines are mounted is entirely different. Could that result in the different testing process or a more safer platform? That I don't know. The second being, you know, how do current UH-60 Blackhawk pilots feel about that? Well, the reality is this will take so long to implement and to develop and to produce that most of us who are currently flying Blackhawks are not going to be around to see it fully fielded across the army. This video is brought to you by Brotalian. If you are looking for some interesting things to get your loved one for the holidays, check this out. Here's an example of a gift that I got for a loved one. Probably not gonna watch this video, so I'm not too concerned about it. It is the Brotalian school university hoodie really good for maybe a loved one who wants to support the company but doesn't want something that screams aviation perfect option for them again that's kind of like the brutalian school hoodie and then my all-time favorite which i got from my dad who uh, introduced me to aviation is one of our uh himalayan hoodies you can see the logo right there uh, really, really cool design. It's probably one of my favorite designs that we have ever uh, put out, but great opportunities, all kinds of stuff that you can get for your loved ones. Be sure to check that out during the 12 days of Christmas at Brotalian. Uh, you can go to the website 
and subscribe to the newsletter. That's probably the best way to get it. Or head over to Instagram at Brutalian and check it out there. Thanks for coming, guys.